Hello. I do not have faith in the political process. I'll tell you why. Firstly, because I believe the political process can be bought and sold and isn't really democratic. Uh, and the few semblances of democracy that do exist in our political process are, um, are just tokenistic. It's like, oh, you have your vote. It's like, yeah, but when an election campaign is you know, so thoroughly funded by this person or that person or this interest group or that interest group or this business or that business, I mean, it's not a f free marketplace of ideas, really, is it? If, you know, if because I have more money, I have a greater chance of influencing your vote. I visit a lot of schools around Australia, from one part of the country to the other, and you enter some schools and they're friendly, but they're just friendly. You enter other schools that are very friendly and nice as well, but you enter some schools where immediately you think, what a wonderful, friendly, open community I've come to, and that was the experience that I had this morning. Your number one. Number three. Yeah. He's going to get to the uh, scones, and I'll already be completely dented by the photographers. It's currently quarter to one. We've been here maybe 45 minutes. I reckon we'll be back in Brisbane by two, and this is all we're doing for the day. And it's basically a photo of the school. It's non-news. It's it's what they had the news hour out with. But it's not policy. It didn't announce any money or anything like that. It's just John Howard you know, visits kids. But it's actually sort of brilliant because if you want to control the image that is going to be in the news and you don't want it to be about you know, politics, you know, you don't give people a chance to answer, you, ask questions, ask questions, you just go to a school and hug a bunch of people. Oh, and, and what's your name again? Oh,